a charged spherical conductor has a surface charge density this when it is charged when the when its charge is increased by 0.44 c the charge density increases by this find initial charge and initial charge of the spherical conductor and also radii of sphere fine it is surface charge density formula surface charge density equal to charge by area charge by area done and then charge is q area is 4 pi r square radius square surface charge density is this with charge q so first case sigma 1 equal to 0 0.7 0 0.7 equal to charge q by 4 pi r square now charge is increased by increased by means by adding this sigma 2 sigma 2 equal to 0 0.14 surface charge density increases by this means it is 0 0.7 plus 0 0.14 which is equal to q q is increased by 0 0.44 0 0.44 divided by 4 pi r square this is equation 1 this is equation 2 so 0 0.7 plus this 0 0.84 equal to q plus 0 0.44 by 4 pi r square equation 2 now just divide one by the other and simplify equation 1 equation 2 by equation 1 or 1 by 2 doesn't matter let us take 1 by 2 equation 1 by equation 2 equation 1 is 0.7 equation 2 is 0 0.84 equal to equation 1 is q by 4 pi r square q by 4 pi r square equation 2 is q plus 0.44 by 4 pi r square this get cancels with this and 0.7 by 0 0.84 Now, equation 2 by equation 1. Equation 2 by equation 1 gives equation 2 is 0 0.84 by 0 0.7 equal to equation 2 is q plus 0 0.44 by 4 pi r square this is q by 4 pi r square this get cancels with this this ratio 0 0.84 by 0 0.7 please check 1.2 equal to q plus 0 0.44 by q take this to the side 1.2 q minus q is 0 0.2 q equal to 0 0.44 bring this decimal point to this side bring this decimal point to this side 4.4 by 2 4.4 by 2 is q which is equal to 2.2 coulomb so we found out charge in this using this charge using sigma using charge using sigma we can find out r
equation one. Equation one is 0.7 equal to Q is 2.2 4 pi r square. Therefore, r square equal to 2.2 by 0 0.7 4 3.14 simplify this then take square root and radius turns out to be 0 0.5 meter students i have taken square root of this 0.5 meter so one is charge the other one is radius previous problem was on electric field and this problem is on surface charge density. Two point charges 3 minus 3 are placed 20 centimeter apart. What is the electric field at the midpoint of the line joining the charges electric field. So, let us write the formula students do not forget. Q by R square. Okay. Now there are two charges. This is first charge, second charge. 3 microcoulomb at A. This is B minus 3 microcoulomb. And this is the midpoint. Total distance is 20 centimeter. Therefore, half of that is 10 centimeter. 10 centimeter. Let this point be O. Because of this positive charge, electric field is away, E1. Because of second charge, negative charge, electric field is towards. So, this is E2. So, with little practice, you will understand that magnitude of E1 equal to E2. That is why try to draw with equal length. Okay, fine. Now, let us find E1, E2, then sum of these two gives the resultant. Electric field at O due to, due to 3 micro coulomb is E1 equal to charge is 9 10 to the power of 9. Sorry, constant is 9 10 to the power of 9, charge is 3 micro micro by distance distance is 10 centi 10 to the power of minus 1 it's square minus 1 10 centi 10 centi is 10 to the power of minus 2 product of these two gives 10 to the power of minus 1 meter okay so when i am explaining such steps small small silly steps they are not silly such explanation is required for required for those students who are in need of such problems for examination okay if you are a studious student then you do not need such explanation, does not matter, just follow. <coughs> so, 9, 3, 27, Ambath Murli Patelo, 9 minus 6 is minus 3, minus 1 into 2 is minus 2. This goes to numerator 10 to the power of minus 3. Ten power 9, 10 power minus 6 is 10 power 3, minus 1 into 2 is minus 2. This goes to numerator 10 to the power of 5. So 27, 10 to the power of 5 Newton per coulomb. Direction is along O b along o b so this is e1 
नेक्स्ट ई टू इलेक्ट्रिक फील्ड अट वो ड्यू टू माइनस थ्री माइक्रोकोल इज ई टू ई टू नाइन टेन टू दि पवर ऑफ नाइन चार्ज मैग्निट्यूड ऑफ दि चार्ज मैग्निट्यूड डोंट कंसिडर नेगेटिव साइन थ्री टेन टू दि पवर ऑफ माइनस सिक्स माइक्रो बै डिस्टेंस इज अगेन टेन टू दि पवर ऑफ माइनस वन स्क्वेर सो नाइन थ्री ट्वेंटी सेवन पार नाइन माइनस सिक्स इज थ्री माइनस टू गोस्ट न्यूमरेटर फाइव न्यूटन पर कुल सो दिस इज ई टू डायरेक्शन ऑफ ई टू इज ऑल्सो अलॉन्ग अलॉन्ग वो बी नाउ रिजल्टेंट ऑफ रिजल्टेंट ऑफ ई वन ई टू रिजल्टेंट of e1 and e2 e equal to e1 plus e2 why it is e1 plus e2 because they are in the same direction just add them if they are in opposite directions subtract so 27 10 to the power of 5 leave some space plus leave some space one finger space 27 10 to the power of 5 27, 27, 54, 10 to the power of 5. Unit is Newton per Coulomb. Direction is along OB. Along OB. So this is resultant. This is first half. What is the force experienced by the test charge? If this charge is placed at this point. Okay. Electric field. Force means force F equal to charge into electric field. So charge is 1.5 10 to the power of minus 9. Electric field is 54 10 to the power of 5. Now multiply, take calculator. Please take calculator don't simply copy it is 81 81 10 to the power of minus 9 plus 5 is minus 4 or 8.1 10 to the power of minus 3 newton sorry newton so it is force if this is positive charge it's not mentioned take it positive if it is positive charge positive charge experiences force in the direction of electric field so this direction is also along o b so this is the force draw diagram neatly then try to follow all the steps for 45th question under problems this is from second chapter capacitor a circular parallel plate capacitor radius separated by distance calculate capacitance circular parallel plate capacitor so capacitance of parallel plate capacitor is epsilon naught a by d formula a is area a is circular plate pi r square 3.14 into this is radius radius is 6 centimeter 6 centi square equal to area area don't forget squaring 6 okay 6 square 36 into this 36 into this 1 1 3 10 to the power of minus 2 2 is minus 4 shift decimal point 1 2 10 to the power of 2 2 minus 4 is 2 minus 4 is minus 2 unit is meter square so this is the area distance is given 3 millimeter therefore capacitance of parallel plate capacitor 
epsilon naught 8.85 is it given in the problem 854 consider 4 10 to the power of minus 12 into area 1.13 10 to the power of minus 2 divided by d 3 millimeter 3 milli 10 to the power of minus 3 8.85 into 1.13 by 3 calculate so it turns out to be 3.33 10 to the power of minus 12 minus 12 minus 2 is minus 14 minus 14 minus 3 10 to the power of minus 11 minus 11 capacitance farad this is c okay now Capacitance and energy stored when it is charged by connecting a battery to find out energy we need voltage So here is the capacitor which is connected to a battery of 200 volt 200 volt capacitance is found out 3.33 10 to the power of minus 11 So what's the expression for energy stored in a capacitor? E equal to half C and V, C V square. So this is the expression for energy. Equal to half C is 3.33 10 to the power of minus 11 V 200 square. 2 square 4, 4 by 2, 2, 2 into 3.33. 6.66 10 to the power of minus 11 2 into 2 is 4 minus 11 10 to the power of 4 is minus 7 joule so this is energy is it correct minus 7 done so we found out capacitance we found out energy when that capacitor is connected to a battery what's the beauty of this problem if you don't get first half of the problem you won't get second half because that value is used here